Hello, I'm Alex Sobel from the British group of the IPU and I'm co-rapporteur for COP26. Hello, I am Alessia Rotta, the co-rapporteur with Alex from Italy. I am the president of the Committee of Environment in Italy, in the Chamber of Deputies. So we're here today to speak to you in Madrid at the Assembly about how we came about to deliver the outcomes document, what's in the outcomes document and how we're using it here at COP with all of the IPU members in Glasgow from all of our countries around the world. We started this process, myself and Alessia, drafting a document. Then we sent it to all of you, all of your parliaments, for feedback. We received a number of amendments. Uh, after the amendments, we debated the outcomes document at a pre-COP meeting in Rome two weeks ago. We took further amendments. And now today, here in Glasgow, we are completing the process and we're hoping that the IPU delegates here are going to accept our document. And Alessia, what are the main points of the outcomes document? The main point, in my opinion, is that for all of us, there is very clear that we have no more time. It's time to act. So the, this urgency is common for all of us, and so is the first point. Uh, in the document and also uh, we underline very clearly the double emergency that calls us to act. The double emergency is the climatic emergency and the COVID-19 emergency which are interwinked. And the document sets out uh, a series of priorities as you uh, remembered. So the key role of Parliament a central role, uh, um, especially uh, through the adoption of ex ante and ex post climate impact analysis tools for legislation and the use of new technologies, because we have to force yeah. our government acts. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And also the need to increase climate funding for less developed countries and the strong emphasis we uh, have to notice that uh, the battle against climate change is also a battle for gender equality. Absolutely. And I think also think it's important to remember that actually there are reparations needed from industrialised countries like ours to countries on their development pathway and the need not just for finance but for reparations and technological support which are also really important in the document. And we're taking these messages out to our own countries, negotiators, for myself, to the COP president and we're asking people here today in Glasgow to take the outcomes document to their negotiators to push on all of these points to ensure that we have more money, that we have better climate justice, that we en ensure that we stick to the one and a half degrees pathways and that it's a fair and just transition and I think that that is really the strength of us as parliamentarians to hold the feet of our nation's governments to account.